French press is one of the most known coffee brewing methods. It's very accessible and easy to make. For this method, you need a French press. In this video, I'm using a 350ml French press. If you have a bigger one, it's fine. You just need to follow the same proportion. You need a coffee scale to measure coffee and water, a kettle to boil and pour the water, and it doesn't need to have a gooseneck, so don't worry. Then you need a chopstick, just a regular chopstick, and a flat paper filter. Now, the coffee. When you think about French press, we know, seeing other videos, that it is suggested to use a coarse grind size. But for this method, I suggest a finer grind size, something in between mocha pot and pour over. The finer grind size will increase the contact surface between coffee and water, and it will increase the extraction. Talking about coffee and water, I use a ratio of 60 grams liter. 18 grams of coffee with 300 grams of water. If you have a bigger French press, you just need to follow the same ratio. So you can do, for example, 30 grams of coffee with 500 grams of water. And this ratio for me is a starting point. I place the coffee in, I start the timer, and I pour the hot water. 300 grams. One thing that I found about French press is that when we use the classic immersion method, the coffee extraction is determined by the way we pour the water into the brewer. A more aggressive pouring will create a higher extraction compared to a more gentle pouring. And this is regardless the immersion time. And this is because of the higher turbulence that we'll apply. Higher turbulence equals higher extraction. So if one day the coffee that you brew every day it tastes a bit less or more extracted, even if you steep the coffee for the same time, it's probably because you pour the water in a different way. So how do we reduce the effect of this variable? Here is where the chopstick enters. After finishing pouring the water, get the chopstick and start to stir with it. The turbulence applied with the chopstick will determine the final extraction and also makes it faster. So if you pour gently or aggressively, it doesn't matter. The chopstick turbulence will even this extraction. The continued agitating will speed the migration of solutes in the water. Okay, it's like when you put salt or sugar in the water. It will dissolve even if you don't stir. It will take longer, but when you stir, they dissolve faster. This is the same principle, but applied in coffee. So, instead of leaving the coffee to steep with the water for around 4 or 8 minutes, depending on the recipe, using the chopstick, we terminate the extraction around 2-3 minutes, depending on coffee. This will also give you the advantage to reduce the amount of unpleasant astringent compounds from the coffee. Some of them need a long contact time with the water to be extracted. So, by reducing the time, we also reduce these compounds. It's a win-win situation. Now, with one minute and something left of steering, let's briefly talk about the sponsor of this video, and that is BetterHelp. Three months ago, I broke my left collarbone, and the last period has been very challenging for me, physically and also mentally. BetterHelp helped me to overcome this period, starting therapy sessions in a very easy way, by video chat, phone call, or even messaging whatever was more comfortable for me. BetterHelp can help you to match to one of over 30,000 therapists in their network, based on your needs, preferences, and location, which gives you access to a wider range of expertise than may be available in your city. You can schedule therapy sections at the time that's convenient for you, and if you feel like your therapist isn't a great fit, you can switch therapist with a click of a button in your settings, at no additional cost. If you're dealing with a difficult time in your life like I did, click the link in the description or visit betterhelp.com slash Matteo. Clicking that link helps to support this channel and it also gets you a 10% off your first month of BetterHelp. So you can connect with a therapist and see if it helps you. To get started, fill out a questionnaire that will ask you questions about what kind of challenges you're going through and what kind of therapist you would like. And then BetterHelp can match you with a therapist to help you. For me, your health is as important as you drinking good coffee. So don't hesitate to seek help if you need it. Now let's go back to our coffee. After two minutes, it's time to filter the coffee. Take a flat paper filter. It's important that it exceeds at least two centimeters the edge of the French press. If you need, you can cut a filter and also you can use a Kalita paper filter. It really depends on how big your French press is. Place the filter on top and then place the plunge. Slowly plunge the coffee. This step is very important. The paper filter will help you to achieve a cleaner cup of coffee. 
reducing the fine particles in your cup. Typical in a French press coffee. Important here is to plunge slowly to avoid fines passing through the side of the plunger. Usually with my French press, it takes around one minute. Once finished plunging, pour the whole liquid in a mug or in a separate server. Don't leave the coffee in the brewer. And now it's time to enjoy our coffee. Okay, from the aroma, I can already tell you that it's a cleaner cup. This is good, has a nice sweetness and a really good mouthfeel. I love it. Now let's talk about how to adjust the variables based on your coffee. If you're brewing a light roast coffee and you see that stirring until two minutes is not enough to achieve a very nice sweetness in your cup and you feel like that you need extract more, you can stir for longer, like 30 seconds more or one minute more. This will increase extraction because you will extend the turbulence with a chopstick. Then, if that is not enough, what you can do, you can grind slightly finer. This will increase the contact surface between coffee and water, and it will increase the extraction. If you are brewing a dark roast coffee, you may need to decrease the extraction to avoid unpleasant bitter taste. Because darker the roast, higher is the coffee solubility. So you can reduce the stirring time, you can cut 30 seconds. If that is not enough and you still taste a bit too much bitterness, you can then grind slightly coarser. That will help. If you like your coffee stronger, you can increase the dose of the coffee and keep the same amount of water. This will increase the intensity of your coffee, but be careful because it could lead to a lower extraction. So, to balance it, I suggest you to stir for 30 seconds more. Having a stronger coffee also suits better if you like to drink your coffee with milk. Now it's up to you to adjust this fast, easy method for a better French press coffee. Let me know what you think about this method. I already saw people using the paper filter with the French press. I didn't invent anything. So if you have already experienced with them, what are your thoughts? Let me know by leaving a comment in the section below. Thank you very much for watching. I hope to see you in my next videos. And in the meantime, I wish you a wonderful day and delicious coffee. Ciao.